How's the knee? Uh, the knee's, knee's really good. Uh, I'm feeling really good. Uh, just good to be back out with the team and start playing football again. Uh, it's something that, you know, we've been doing since we were kids, and I'm just excited to be back out with the guys, 100%. 100%. Looking at it last year, you obviously got thrown into a situation pretty quick. How do you think, looking back on it, you were able to handle that outside of the health concerns? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was surrounded by a lot of great guys, uh, a lot of great coaches at this building, uh, a lot of great people at this building. And I got a lot of support from a lot of people outside of this building, you know, fan-wise. Fan and, uh, you know, it just gave me confidence. I had to go out there and do my job, and uh, Coach trusted me to do that. And I, I went out there and just had to execute. And that's uh, what it comes down to, first and foremost. So. That's what, that's what I looked at. How about with Coach Bobo and his style of coaching and what he's trying to teach you? Yeah, uh, super excited uh, about Coach Bobo and what he's offering here already. You know, a lot of guys are picking it up. A lot of guys are confident. A lot of guys are excited about going to practice. Um, and, and what he's teaching, um, he, we can already tell. You know, he's a guy that's going to put us out there and be successful because we want to be a championship offense, and uh, that's what it's going to come down to. What's been the biggest difference that he's instilled? Um, uh, he's de definitely more vocal. Uh, I think that that gets guys going a little bit more. Uh, might light a fire, you know, underneath you. And, you know, you don't want to get called out. And uh, I think that's what is, is in a lot of guys' minds right now. Um, and just trying to be able to execute and not be that guy that lets their teammates down. Um, and I think that's a that's a big difference uh, when it comes to his style of teaching. Ryan, did you feel ready to start when you had to start last year? Uh, absolutely. I knew, uh, you know, being the backup, I had to be able to go in and be able to execute you know when it was my time to shine and uh coach gave me that opportunity um and uh, you know i i love jake and I, I can't wait to see what he does at utah um but you know opportunities came and i came in there and i had to be able to execute and but i did feel ready how'd you how would you evaluate your 11 starts um i got to play better absolutely yeah. i have to play better um you know, I, I had a couple moments that I felt that were good and a couple opportunities that, you know, I said, hey, I'll go out there and throw some touchdowns. But otherwise than that, um, I got to play better. And that comes down to me, and I, I put that on myself. Was confidence an issue last year, by the end of last year, just because things weren't going the way you wanted? Um, confidence wasn't really an issue. Um, I just got to focus more. I've got to be able to be that practice player 110% every day, you know, be the same guy. Consistency is a lot of stuff that we're talking about here at the facility. Um, I just got to be more consistent in my play um, and just go in day in and day out and being that guy for this team. How has Colin Hill affected you in that regard in terms of being a film studier mm -hmm. and his approach to the game? Yeah, the, the Coach Bobo and uh, Colin Hill have been a great addition to this football football team and uh, facility all around because they're great people on the field, great people in the facility, um, in the film room. You know, they're always just, hey, what can I do for you? How can I help you? You know, if, hey, I have a question about some type of run play, who we're declaring, stuff like that. Um, Colin's the first guy to step up and be like, hey, I'll help you with that. So um, he's been really helpful in that regard. Was there a, a low point last year, a game or a moment in a game where – you kind of started to doubt and say, um, man, this you know, is good. Yeah, I, I'm, I've been through a lot of low points um, in my life, and uh, I had a couple of uh, stuff, you know, come into my mind, but then I told myself, you know, that's just life. You know, we have low points, and we've just got to bounce back from those things, and, you know, you got to go to the next day because the next practice is going to come, and if you're still in that low point, you're going to have another bad practice, and it's going to lead to another bad practice, it's going to lead to another bad game. So. Um, I didn't really let those affect me last year. I didn't try and let those affect my teammates last year because I know that it would just keep going into the next game and we didn't need any of that. What, what games were those or what, what moments? Um, it really was just like just middle of the season. Uh, it was just a couple moments that it would just come and then it would go away. I wouldn't let it affect me that much. It would come in the morning like for five minutes, maybe come sneak up on me, but then I'd punch right in the face and let it go back the way that it came. So uh, it, w it wasn't really a big time moment or anything like that. <laughs> um, there was definitely a lot. Uh, I remember that Bama hit, that first one that I got a first lick. Um, and then I remember that even even in the Charleston Southern game where I pulled that first touchdown, I got a little lick there. But um, but after that, you know, um, it's just part of the job. You know, you got to get hit. And it makes it even better when you throw a ball and you get a completion. Uh, then you don't really feel those hits anymore. Break down your body from last season. I mean, what were you playing with besides the knee? What was the, your physical issues? Um, I mean, everybody had physical issues. Uh, I had bruises, of course, everywhere. But, you know, that's just part of the game. I, I actually kind of liked it because I knew that, you know, I'm getting hit. I'm going back in there just like everybody else on this team. Everybody else is getting beat up. Everybody else is going out there battered and bruised. Um, and I know coaches wouldn't put me out there if I wasn't 100%. And I trusted in them and Dr. Clint and Dr. Guy um, and all of that stuff. So I was excited to go out there and just compete um, and just be one of the guys for us, for our team.
Right. What's, it been, what's it been like to kind of be able to slow down a little bit after kind of getting thrown in and having sort of the rush of the season? Yeah, um, definitely, you know, moving from the West Coast to the East Coast, it was definitely a rush, uh, you could say that. Um, but it, it feels good to, you know, just get my feet underneath me um, and just understand, you know, what Coach Bubble is trying to teach, uh, what Coach Muschamp and them are trying to instill into our guys. Um, and it feels pretty good to, you know, just have that composure, have that confidence going into it. Um, that I, I still had that last year, um, but it's still good to, you know, feel that and know that the other guys are buying into it as well as me. Brian, you've had a pretty pop as, both as a player and as a leader compared to when you first got here a year ago. Uh, you know, throw, like you guys said, thrown into the fire, um, and, and I think it's just that I don't really like to describe it as thrown into the fire because, you know, it's just one of me, one of the guys going out there and doing their job and executing, like I said. Um, but now, you know, I, I feel super confident, uh, more, way more confident than I did last year. I feel more composed. Um, I'm really buying into Coach Bubba's offense. Um, and a lot of these O-linemen, everybody on the wide receiver front, everybody on the running back front, um, even the quarterbacks as well as myself uh, are buying into the offense and are feeling confident and excited about this new offense that we're bringing in. How about high points? What was it like going into Athens and beating Georgia? Uh, you know, that was super exciting, um, but you know, uh, I know a lot of us look at the score sometimes, but it's just we always like to play the next down, um, and we like to focus on the next play, the next rep, and just making sure that we're doing that, because if we're winning, you know, we just got to keep winning. If we're losing, we just got to go on to the next play and just make sure we give, do that play 110%, but it was a pretty good feeling going into half then. How much work, how much work have you done under center in your career? Um, I haven't done a whole lot, I'll tell you that much, but I know that my sophomore season, if you go back, it's still on huddle, if you go in my sophomore season of high school, um, I remember I, that whole season we installed uh, the Vikings old offense in the NFL um, with Coach Matthew Hatchett was his name, and I was all under center that year basically, um, and a lot of play action stuff like that. Um, so I haven't got a whole lot of experience, it's been a minute, but uh, it, I can feel that my body just uh, recognizes it and it's just become you know more fluid and, and stuff like that out there, it feels good. Ryan, you've been a pretty popular guy around campus, going to the hockey games, going you know mm -hmm. special events, speaking on behalf of the Polinski Hope. My question is, how do you have the time between playing football and going to school? <laughs> Um, that's the that's the thing, you know. I, I kind of had to make the decision uh, whether or not you know I want to be that guy that goes and, and lays in his bed and watches TV, or one of those guys that you know goes and supports others that support myself. And I wanted to be that guy that said, hey, you know what? These hockey players are coming to my game. These lacrosse players are coming to my game. You know, girls basketball is coming to our games. Shoot, I'll go and go to their games, cheer them on, and, and just give that support that they've been giving to me because you know all of that means the world. And why can't I do the same? rather than just laying in bed and being lazy. <laughs> like it's been like watching the town uh, rally around Holinsky's hope. Um, it's, it's been really, really special. Um, going from coast to coast, uh, it's just really, really cool to see all these people uh, buy into something, you know, that they're not even familiar with. And I, I think when we saw that first, um, you know, third quarter when we held up the threes during the Alabama game, that, that really touched us and touched my family. Um, and just, it's really cool to see, you know, um, all these people buy into it. And it's, it's amazing to see also how much it, mental health is affecting other people um, and that we can all help each other. And if Holinsky's Hope can do that, as little as we can do or as much as we can do, we'll do it. So Ryan, it's really cool. Ryan, we, we all kind of got to know your parents a little bit last year through interviews and they got a lot of TV time, it seemed yes, like, every game. How, how important were they and your support system to helping you get through last year? Yes, sir. Um, both of my parents, Mark and Kim, they've been everything to me. Um, you know, they've helped me through thick and thin. Um, they've taken me to lunch after every game. I mean, sorry, taking me to dinner after every game, um, taking me to lunch after practice if they can. Um, and another big part of that has been my older brother, Kelly. Um, he's been he's been a huge part in that, too, uh, because at some point I lived with him in his apartment in Irmo and I was making trips and uh, he would have dinner ready for me after practices, after classes um, and just talk to me about stuff because, you know, it's just some things you can talk to your parents about, but some things you can only talk to your brother about. And I'm just so glad that Kelly can do that for me. Um, and I still like Got a brother, brother here to do that with. Is he in med school not here at USC? Um, right now, he's not in med school. Uh, he's actually uh, taking an internship at the company Nephron. Um, so he's doing he's doing really good over there. What's your chemistry like with Luke Doty so far? How have you two got along? Yeah, Luke uh, Luke's an amazing athlete, amazing competitor, um, and he's a fun guy to be around, which is super cool. And I think this whole quarterback room that we have now, we're all gelling together. Uh, we're all making jokes, cracking left and right. Um, so the composure. Um, and the confidence in each other um, and being around each other is really, really good. And I think Luke is just adding that another next level of competitiveness between all of us. And that chemistry with Dakarion, now that he's a wide receiver, mm -hmm. how you two hooked up? Yeah, uh, I remember just talking to Dakarion about that situation um, and just 
he's a team player. He's always been a team player. He's a team guy. I love him. Um, and he's just super confident, always smiling, always uh, always laughing, no matter what position he's put in. And he just wants to do the best for the team. Coming off a four-win season, what kind of message can you give the fans of some hope coming through this spring mm -hmm. and looking into next season that, hey, you guys are going to turn it around? Yeah, uh, it won't happen again. And I, I, I got left with a bad taste in my mouth last season. Um, I've never had a four-win season in my career. And uh, I just... Personally, I will ne never let it happen again, and I can tell you that all of these team players that we have right now, all of the players on our team are confident in our season going forward and confident in our championship offense. Is your mindset that right at this moment that you're the starting quarterback here or that you're in a competition? Yeah, right now we're, we're all competing. We're all competing with each other. We're all trying to make each other better, um, and that's the mindset going into every single day. Every single player is competing with another person, whether it makes them better or whether whatever position that they're in. Um, so we're all just competing right now. Nobody's got a starting spot. Nothing's locked up. Beyond all the intangible stuff, physically, on the field, mechanics, whatever, what, yes, what's the one thing or a couple of things that you have – pinpointed that you want to improve mm -hmm. on? Uh, mobility is a big thing that I've worked on. Um, I know uh, it voices a lot of concerns throughout the community, of course, and through the coaches and talking to Bobo. Um, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, and I've been working in the training room uh, nonstop, you know, just getting my legs stronger. Um, and I, I know that I can run faster now. I, I feel faster during practice. I watch it on film. I might not be as fast when I look at the film, but I feel super fast out of the field. But but I'm moving around a little bit. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident in my up movement in the pocket, capability and stuff like that you mentioned the community so you kind of hear that stuff just you mm -hmm. what? yeah no I hear that everybody hears the stuff right. you know I, I always hear that stuff um, but I think the thing is when it comes to that type of stuff we just block it out um, and and we hear it of course you know and it goes in one ear it goes out the other ear so uh, right now we're just focused on the team um, and coach Bobo and coach Muschamp what they're telling us and what we need to get better at what was the funniest thing you heard about your mobility from somebody <laughs> funniest thing I heard about my mobility uh, I was probably slower than, slower than like a semi truck, you know, that was coming off the freeway or something like did that. Did a fan say that or did Bobo say that? Uh, the Bobo, I remember the first first meeting I had with Coach Bobo. Uh, it was it was funny. We were watching a couple games from last year, and this is when he first got here, and I was meeting with him. Uh, four or five plus hours and we were just going through film and trying to learn the offense as best as I could but I remember we were watching the Vanderbilt game and I ran about I ran out of bounds about five yards before any closest defender he's like well I didn't know we were raising you know little babies up in here but he said next time go and lower your shoulder against the guy but obviously he was joking but it's just a good to get off on a good note with him well, have you seen have you seen him play have you seen oh him? yes yes I've <laughs> I mean, seen he, him play he wasn't mm -hmm. he wasn't exactly quick mm, well he he just he's one of those guys that he doesn't care you know what what goes on as long as you have the ability to do it go ahead and do it I mean if he couldn't do it shit, you can go and do it now you know so that's how it is uh, I think the best advice for Jake is just shake it off. Let let the next play happen. Um, let the last play go. Let the next play happen. So I remember going through games and stuff like that, and I'd come to the sideline frustrated, and I'd be like, "Well, what can I do? Like, what did I do wrong?" Stuff like he's like, "Well, you can't change it now. Go ahead and just move forward from it, and uh, just move on to the next play, and make sure you got that focused and locked in." So he helped you more than anyone. Yeah. Absolutely. Jake, def he still helped me in um, the film room and stuff like that, identifying coverages, identifying under, over front, stuff like that. But I would take away from Jake and, our, um, Jake and ours relationship, I would say it was more mental. I don't know if it's possible without giving away the game plan, but what do you like about this offense compared to maybe what you were doing last year? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of it falls on me. Um, a lot of it's just having confidence in, you know, knowing uh, where the mic is, you know, where, where our hots are, if we're siding for a week, too strong, stuff like that. Um, it's just really exciting to see, you know, all this confidence uh, in myself of identifying coverages and stuff like that, you know, sending the line which way we want to go um, and knowing way, ways that the receivers can convert routes, stuff like that. So we just have a lot of answers for a lot of different things that the defense is doing, uh, no matter what they're doing. So it's really exciting to see what we can do. How does being under center change the, what you're able to do in the run game? Um, being under center changes a lot of stuff. Um, it just allows the gap gaps to open up for the back you know he can see a lot more once we get the ball back to him stuff like that um, and it allows me to play faster as a quarterback too um, and I think that's just plays the, everybody on the offense plays off of me once I play faster you know the back will play faster he'll get cut packs he'll hit the a gap he'll hit the b gap whatever he needs to do wide receivers will block for the d gap stuff like that it's just a lot of good stuff going on under center what do you think of Lloyd 
I think he's a special back. I think he's really good. Uh, I remember watching him give a little shake on the first day of practice, um, and he's a good kitty. I mean, he's in my row. He's about two lockers down from me, um, and just talking to him every day, you know, just talking to him about his everyday life. He's a kid that's humbled um, and is excited to be here and be a game cop. Bobo talked about, you know, wanting to work on your fundamentals. You mentioned, you know, you're trying to improve mm -hmm. your mobility. What other things does he kind of emphasize to you? Yeah, um, right now we're just trying to work on a little bit of upper body stuff. I'm um, just trying to get my elbow up a little bit more. puts less stress on my shoulder. puts less stress on my elbow. Uh, trainers have done a lot of good stuff with me as well. Talking about a uh, foot plant and stuff like that. It takes less pressure off my knees. takes less pressure off my lower hips. Um, getting my inner, inner rotation, outer rotation, stuff like that um, going. So there's a lot of, lot of stuff we're working on mechanical-wise. Um, Coach Bobo has done a lot of good stuff upper body wise, but the trainers have also done a lot of good stuff for me um, with lower body. Was there something specific about that Alabama game that allowed you to play so well? Was there something that mm -hmm. they did that you were comfortable against or whatever it might have been? Yeah, I think uh, just rising to the occasion was one of those things. And it's just it's just another football game. You know, of course it's Alabama, um, and I know, I know that sounds cheesy, but I, of right. course it's Alabama. You're just going out there um, and you're playing football. And I think it was just really exciting for me to, you know, get that opportunity to go out there and play against people. You know, I, I remember standing out there on the field, and I looked over and I saw Coach Nick Saban. And that's somebody that I've been watching since I was a little kid. But I think that whole week we were just all locked in. We were excited about um, just going in, moving forward in the season, um, and just putting our best foot forward against um, you know such a great opponent. Right, well, can just talk a lot about the game yes. slowing down for players going mm -hmm. into their sophomore. Have, have you since then? What does that kind of mean when a game does slow down for you? Yeah, the game absolutely absolutely has slowed down for me. Um, and I think when it comes to that type of stuff, you know, you just understand where coverages are going on. Um, what, where the mic, where the sand, where the will is, stuff like that. You know, you under, understand like over, under front, stuff like that. You understand where every, all 11 defensive players are on at the field. You understand where you need to go with the ball during certain coverages and stuff like that. So it definitely has slowed down for me um, and I'm excited to, you know, put that to the test this coming fall.